Awesome. Love to meet you. What was your name, sir? Alex. Alex and Jen. Jen. Alex and Jen. Lovely couple. Watch this. I'm going to take one card at random in this case. You've got the Ace of Diamonds. Not just one, but actually get all four. Yeah? You s there's a strange smile emerging across your face. Right there. <laughs> I'm going to show you something that was the first trick that I was shown when I was a kid. Yeah? I was shown by quite a big butch rugby player from England, um, Johnny Wilkinson or something like that. Um, what I'm gonna, yeah, it's, it's semi-believable. I'm gonna take the aces one at a time like this, yeah? And if you actually put them together like this and squeeze, you notice something strange starts to happen, they actually half their size. So now you've got two twos, yeah? We're gonna um, repeat the same thing. We're gonna aim to obviously better it by one. So if you take the um, twos like this, leave them on top of each other, yeah? If you actually rub on my leg, try not to get aroused there, one thing happens, it changes to a single card. In this case, it will be a four, yeah? So you've gone from aces to two twos to a four. And um, what I'm gonna do now is, if you actually watch the uh, card here, like, I'm gonna take the card and get it to a deer in a non-suspicious way to my hands. <laughs> and if you actually blow, you see your blow makes it vanish into thin air, yeah? Now I know what you're thinking, obviously, all this stuff hands if you don't know where to look. But what I'm gonna do is actually press on the back of my hand and get one card to appear out of thin air. If you could just check the card for tears, check it's not been tampered with or anything like that. Are you happy with that, yeah? Yep. I wouldn't want you to be, any be suspicious, all right? <laughs> um, I'm going to take, if you actually watched, what I was asking you to look for is in the centre of the card, if you get the right place, you can split it into two twos. Now, obviously, we're going back in time, sort of. Um, well, I'm going to take the two twos like this. If you actually rub, you can actually get the one, two, three, four aces. So that's a little time, time travelling for us. So we don't need the uh, DeLorean for this, do we? Um, yeah, so i leave you, I've got two more, is that alright? Yeah, yeah. Excellent, watch this. Um, this one, I'm going to do a shuffle pack of this. Alex, can you shuffle them for me? And the trick's going to be with you, Jen, alright? So we're just going to get him to, uh... alright, don't show off. <laughs> Guys are professional. Um, watch this, I'm not, I'm not going to try and over steal your funder there, that was brilliant. That's quite good, I'm not going to lie. Usually people are like... And, yeah, I'm not, I'm not patronising other people. That was good. That was good. Um, Jen, if I just get to touch any card you like, don't feel forced. Yeah, take it out for me. Show the camera and show Alex. Yeah, just take a moment to rest of that. Yeah, excellent. If I place your card in the centre of the deck, look, all I'm going to do is cut the pack like this. That's further losing your card. And I'm going to ask you to say stop once again, Alex. But this is just where we're going to cut the pack. Yeah, say stop anytime you like. Stop. Yeah. Ventriloquism, I said, Alex, but if you want to answer, no, that's fine. Um, put, <laughs> you can just put your, um, put your hand out for me because we're going to do the trick for you anyway. Your card should be in the top five, five cards, yeah? So I've got a one in five chance, 20% of finding them. The odds aren't that, not really stacked in my favour. But if we take the cards one at a time, I'm going to show you them. You tell me if your card was there, but not which one it was. Okay. Yeah? So it was either the three of diamonds, the eight of spades, the joker, the three, or the jack. Is it definitely one of those cards? Yeah. Excellent, that's where we're going. Um, you just put your hand, other hand on top of the pack for me. I'm going to extract one at random. Now, I don't know if this will be it, all right? So don't, uh, don't get too eggy. Don't get your pitchforks, otherwise. Um, so I'm going to show the cards one at a time. So it's either the jack, the eight, this one, this one, or this one. Was it definitely, was it your card face up? It wasn't, no? So that's one, one in five chance, 20%. Um, if I said to you it was the Joker, would you be impressed? Very that's a bit, of, a bit of mind reading, a bit of Darren Brown. <laughs> if I take the card like this and actually cause it to vanish from here, yeah? It causes men that are just walking by to stop and witness a miracle um, that's actually unfolded in my hands. That's good improv. Um, your reaction was great. Um, your card actually vanishes from here. Did you see it go? No. No. If I commit the card, the top card of the pack, would you be impressed? Yeah? yeah turn it over. Bit of an anticlimax, really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll also put your card back there for me. And um, turn the pack. If it was the bottom card, you'd be impressed. Second chance, please. I'm going to get down and pray in a minute. Um, turn the pack face up for me. Ah. Yeah. Do you know what that means? I've got nine seconds to go. Um, I don't know. Um, if you spread through to the middle of the pack, there'll be one card. Yeah, spread through face up. Yeah, there'll be one slightly different to the rest. I won't need to point out which one it is. Yeah, it should be near the middle. So there's one. Yeah. I don't want to touch this. Now, for, uh, me and Alex are going to do a drum roll, and you're going to turn the card over and hopefully react. Drum roll, Alex. That was genuine. That was... I don't know. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing that? Hopefully a little bit... No, I don't know. That's all right. Thank you. That's incredible. Thanks. I appreciate that.
Cheers, guys. Um, I've got one more to show you. Is that all right? Yeah. Don't take up too much of your time. I need to go for a drink and stuff. Um, what I'm going to do, if you can shuffle the cards this time, she's going to start springing and. Works. Can't teach an old dog new tricks, as they say. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't mean it like that. I'm just okay. saying. Um, what I'm going to do, as I dribble the cards, if you could say stop anywhere you like. I'm going to get you both to select a card. You're going to both share a moment. A Kodak. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Also, yeah, I was going to say, say stop anytime you like, sir. Stop. Right here. So we're going to use the top two cards, so since there's only two of you. Um, hopefully it'll be a good contrast. We've got the a queen and a six. You can be the six, you can be the queen. For obvious reasons, yeah? Okay. Um, place the six on top and the queen in the middle, yeah? Mm -hmm. So if we've got the queen on top, the six is on top, yeah? What I'm going to do is leave that one here. If you actually take the six like this and shake, it'll actually change into that card. So that means if the queen's here in the center of the pack, it will be the six, yeah? Now you didn't know what to look for, so I'm going to slow it down slightly. So I'm going to take the queen and the six, yeah? Leave the six here and the queen goes in the middle again. So hopefully the, uh, what we're going to do is take the six this time. And they say things can't be in two places at once, all right? I'm going to take the six. So that's that one, guys. So that's a little journey of two cards. <laughs> and <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate well that. It's lovely to meet you. Thanks very much. So you shake hands with the women and hug the men. That's, that's <laughs> the rules. That's, that's just how it goes. <laughs>